Hello, it's September and we are talking about ADHD and how to help our kids have a better school year. Very often I'll hear parents come in with challenges with their children with focus and attention and one of the first things I recommend them to do is to do a QEEG which is a full brain map so I can see if I see evidence of their challenges with certain brave brainwave dysregulations. So when I look at the QEEG, I'm going to show it to you right here. This is the thing that we see very often, in fact, 85% of the time when we have see kids that have ADHD diagnoses. And this is red and yellow in the front of their brain in theta. And theta is that brainwave pattern that is associated with falling asleep, okay? We should not have high theta waves as we're going about our normal day. We should have high theta waves as we're laying in bed trying to get to sleep. And so you can imagine this is why kids might have challenges with focus and attention, because they have too many of these sleepy brainwave patterns in the front of the brain. How neurofeedback helps is we put two sensors on their scalp and we reward their brain as they're watching a movie by making the movie bright and they can hear it very well when they're producing higher brainwave patterns in the front of their brain, not those theta brainwaves. In the front of the brain, it's also where we have our attention areas. So areas of dysregulation in the front of the brain are a telltale problem that there's going to be a challenge with some kind of learning. So if your child is having challenge with focus and attention and you want to know if neurofeedback can help, the first thing I would recommend is get a QEEG so we can evaluate their brainwave pattern. And at that point, we'd be able to let you know if your child is a candidate. Thanks for listening. See you next time.